Here to talk more about uh, the spate of unidentified objects, uh, probably an Ivy Leaguer, and heightened U.S. China tensions, retired U.S. Army Brigadier General Mark Kimmett. Ooh, West Point. He served as Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense uh, and Assistant Secretary of State in the George W. Bush administration. Thanks for, uh, for joining us, General. Can I just start? I, I can think of a lot of things that this could be doing. It could be the first one, let's say, and I don't know about these other ones. Maybe you do, but surveillance could be one thing, and we can assume that. Uh, testing our systems would, could be another thing, or maybe being a, a, a sort of a trial run for something really scary, which uh, I don't know if, if, you, if we've really looked into that at this point, if there was a payload or, you know, I've heard about some type of detonating yep. something uh, up in the, in the atmosphere that could hurt the grid or bring down our communication system. What do the highest levels of, of uh, government think is going on? Well, first of all, the, the highest level of governments aren't talking to me. Uh, but I would suspect that, first of all, you also didn't mention that this thing is also probably hoovering up a lot of uh, signals intelligence as well. Uh, but i got to tell you, Joe, I don't understand uh, the histrionics going on about all of this. Uh, I'm a little more sanguine about both what's going on here and, number two, the uh, military effect. I'm concerned about the diplomatic effect, but uh, uh, overall, this is just a minor amount of the intelligence gathering that the Chinese have been doing for years and years and are doing today. I was uh, actually going to say that Maybe the Chinese are saying, let's send that balloon over there so they forget about TikTok, where we're really getting all the info. No, I think they've got a lot of other reasons for doing this. Uh, we've got to understand that the Chinese are not only collecting by balloons, but every day they're collecting by uh, industrial espionage, espionage, human intelligence, cyber intelligence. So this is just one element of what they are doing every day. And frankly, I can't understand why we're so concerned about this. What about us? I mean, I, I, we're not, right? I mean, we, we've, oh my God, there's spying going on here. You know, yeah. we, we know that this happens. We must be good at this too, aren't we? Do we have things like this flying around over China? Well, certainly we have more than 250 satellites uh, in uh, lower Earth orbit and above that, which is not uh, considered sovereign territory. Uh, I would expect that our intelligence agencies are doing their jobs pretty well. Look, I think we've got to understand that we've got gone from cooperation and competition with the Chinese to competition and possibly confrontation with the Chinese. Uh, it is, in many ways, a new Cold War, um, and uh, we shouldn't be kidding ourselves about this. Yeah, but, but, but as you say, admit that or at least con concede that that's the case, but then don't overplay this and don't, don't go into... Yeah histrionics, oh. and it, it, it's nothing that's that probably out of the ordinary. Not been going on, we just never saw them or never detected them before. No, I think that's right. And unfortunately, I think we're letting this be politicized, and this is also becoming part of the Washington game down here. But I think, as you said, let's just accept it's going on, accept it's not just going on with balloons, it's going on with satellites, it's going on with agents on the ground, it's going on with cyber uh, this is the era that we live in, and we have lived in this period for some period of time. And uh, so let's just deal with it. We now understand that the Chinese have a new capability. We seem to be responding very well to that capability. Uh, but let's not take our eyes on all this other intelligence gathering that the Chinese are doing on a daily basis.